What's in a service? At Murray Bishop Music, we pride ourselves on how we provide for our customer, the friendship and the base that we have. We love to see our customers coming back on a regular basis. So to do that, of course, we take a lot of care of your instrument. Our service starts from the moment you drop it off. We like to talk to the player and find out if there's specific problems with your instrument. Once it's checked in, it goes to the workshop, the first thing we do there is inspect the case. And when we look at the case, we look for signs of wear, we look for signs of damage, we make sure that it's protecting your instrument. Woodwind players, particularly students, always have huge numbers of reeds sitting in there and boy oh boy it captures the moisture, there's mould, there's smells, we need to get rid of all that as well. Then we have a visual of your instrument. Now I quite often like to test play them. Unless there's something specific, we have a quick check and have a look, make sure and identify anything that's desperately needing of repair. Have a test play if we need to, not going to demonstrate that now. And then the next thing we do is we disassemble the instrument. Now we put them into a container and we pull them completely apart. I'll get this pulled apart for you. Now make sure if you are going to do it that the valves are numbered before you pull them all out because otherwise you can spend a lot of time wondering about the valves. We take off everything and you can see this instrument if you have a look on here if you have a look along these threads um, here you can see a lot of gunk in those threads and a lot of that sort of stuff that's dry and that will cause that will go up into the valve block and cause you a problem. Now <clears throat> we just keep disassembling as much as we can and okay we're in one spot now the first thing we do is I like to put the mouthpiece the valves and the valve caps through our ultrasonic cleaner this is an ultrasonic cleaner small commercial one um, it contains fluids of cleaners and disinfectants now I put the valve caps in I put the three valves in as well and set that because while that's working I can actually set um, I can actually set what else I need to do a little bit hard to see it outside but it's working it's an ultrasonic cleaner while that's happening we set up two bins one here which is warm soapy water we add to that a little bit of Viroclean Viroclean is also great when we do the cases as well it's an industrial strength disinfectant so anything that's growing in there is killed it looks really good and the first thing we do is start by just getting a little bit of water through each slide using the snake which you can get with a care kit just giving them a little bit of a clean most important going through once that's done we then put it into clean water to rinse do that with each of the slides and I can see actually you probably can't see it on camera but I can see quite a lot of dry gunk coming out of these um, which means that it hasn't been used for a long time now that means that the slides will stick it also means that problems quite often go through into the instrument so we go from there we then take the body of the instrument and do the same thing you'll notice when I'm doing the um, lead pipe I'll start from the bell end that's to stop the rubbish coming out and spraying onto the bell so we just go that way hold it out of the edge and have a bit of a look there's not a lot in this one I don't think this instrument's had much play but we just give it a good clean through there you won't hurt your instrument by getting it a little bit wet it's just the way it gets wet when you play it internally we also then inspect the ball and inspect it have a look through have it go through we can do the valve blocks now the valve blocks again using a valve barrel brush just a little bit in there just to make sure they're all clean and I also use an old toothbrush just to clean around the threads as I'm going making sure that threads both top and bottom are clean as well okay we're nearly ready to start putting it back together it's fairly simple a service isn't it 
what we'll do is we'll be waiting for this to turn off and we'll give it a rinse but in the meantime we'll grab the slides out give them a wipe and then using good quality tuning slide grease which we use I use super slick particularly a little bit of grease on, on each of the slides just to make sure it doesn't have to be a lot the more you put on the more falls off so just a little bit to make sure that slide moves in and out nice and easily and while I'm at it too I usually have a look at the integrity of the water key just to make sure it, it is sealing um, because there's nothing worse than getting a leaking water key after you've done all your work okay we've got all our bits and pieces there that's working nicely you can see we get a little bit of drainage out of there the second slide is always a good one to just make sure you put plenty of uh, slide cream on or slide grease simply because people forget it's there and they don't use it a lot so here we go we do all that by this time by the time we get back to doing all this our instrument the rest of our instrument should be ready to go and then we can just open it up put it all together and very quickly that's a, what we call a minor service a major service is when we've got stuck slides when we've got valves that don't line up threads that are crossed over um, things like that now a little thing we also do when we put it back together right there we are nice ready to go also use a little bit of tuning slide grease on the threads so it makes them a little bit easier to move and it protects them a little bit makes everything feel a lot better so we put a little bit of grease on there now our time is up with our ultrasonics so we can come out the next thing we'll do take the mouthpiece we check it to make sure it's round often you'll find there with it gets dropped and that's out around it doesn't sit properly if there's marks and things there we polish them just give that a good rinse off too so it's ready to go then we start with the valves now this is the second one doesn't matter which one you work with but we have a good look at them make sure if we need to if there's any marks in the ports at all we clean those out and then we can start putting it all back together if I take the lid off it'll be a lot easier there we go okay so we've gone to the point we've got the second one there the valve is in it looks it's running nice and smoothly we do this with all the valves and um, I'll try and show it we give them a rinse give them a clean and be done with it they're all looking very clean not a lot of damage on this instrument as I say I don't think this instrument's had a lot of use uh, that's number one so make sure that the number points to where the mouthpiece is it's very important um, otherwise when you blow through the instrument you won't have a sound coming out or air traveling and then you'll have all sorts of troubles like a whinging student so we clean them all off and a little bit of oil there and we're ready to, almost ready to go I quite often like to put the valves back in um, without the base caps on so any water that's left can drain out you can see a little bit spotting out there but then the ultimate thing is we now take the valve caps there's three of them there and we can give them a bit of a rinse and have a look inside them too because you quite often get some gunk inside and if that's the case just use a brush get rid of it when you screw them on make sure you don't cross thread them the threads at the base of this instrument are quite fine and if you cross thread them you will find they damage very very easily so we'll go to that we've got all that back up our trumpet is now back in full working condition and just going to find the third one which is there which is great our instrument is ready to go so the last thing we do is give it a test run again make sure it works 
I'm not going to do that out here but normally I'd give it a test run I don't use your mouthpiece we use our own and final thing we then do is polish the instrument before we put it back in the case that way you know that you're getting an instrument that's been lovingly cared for that's our basic service for more information contact us for our custom service have a great day